Welcome to Sports Sunday. I'm Brooke Grimsley. It has been a historic week for the Cardinals legends. Number five hitting career home run, number 698. And Yanni Amueno setting a new all-time record for starts as a battery. Look, we'll get into all of that tonight. But first, let's take a look at today's series finale against the Reds. Jordan Montgomery on the mound, top of the third. Steer with a base hit that goes past Gorman. Enough time for a run to come in, and the Reds get on the board first. Fast forward to the top of the six. Same score, Montgomery. Montgomery on the hill still, but Fairchild takes his pitch way out to deep left center. Two-run bomb makes it a 3-0 game. Top of the eighth, Jake Woodford getting some help from Gorman here. Gorman shows off his hops. Nice grab there. And then we go to the top of the ninth. It's going to be two in scoring position. Jonathan India lifts one out to deep center. Lars Newbar with the catch. They will try to test his arm. Newt to the plate and it is a double play eighth outfield assist of the season for Lars Newtbar but the Cardinals couldn't get their bats going today they are shut out by the Reds three to nothing they only mustered two hits today but the good news is that the Brewers lost so the Cardinals magic number is now down to eight here's Montgomery after the game I would call it a bad game and we'd be lost I want to win every time we go out there but um it's definitely I don't know, I struck out nine guys, so I should be excited about that, but I'm not. Um, it stings, so I'm trying to be better next time. Ospie pitches were uh, really good. Curveball, I believe he got seven out of the uh, eight punch outs with his off speed. Uh, curveball was a good player for him, changeup as well. Um, actually pitched well, just uh, couldn't string it together on the other side. All right, going back to Friday night's game, it was a magical night at Bush Stadium with the Cardinals trailing 4-2. to two. Albert Pujols stepped up to the plate, and with a sellout crowd on their feet behind him, Pujols tied the game up with a two-run shot for his 698th career home run. Here's Dan McLaughlin from Bally Sports Midwest on the call. The first pitch. Albert unloads. Deep left, and this game is tied. 698 Albert Pools. Cardinals went on to win that game 6 to 5 over the Reds. Now Pools is just two runs away from joining Barry Bonds, Hank Aaron and Babe Ruth as the only players in league history with at least 700 home runs while he's enjoying and taking in these historic moments. He says that he's just focused on contributing. Well, it's cool, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, um, I kind of block all the stuff, um, you know, as great as it is, and, you know, I acknowledge it, but at the end of the day, you can't put that pressure on yourself. You have to just go out there and, and just try to do the best that you can. Uh, um, I think, uh, you know, you played this game, obviously, for the fans, and the God gave the talent that he has given you to, to perform, and I think I've done that for 22 years, and, you know, I'm going to be pretty emotional over the last week or so when we come back from the road trip because, uh, you know, it is going to be the last pretty much regular season series that I've been that I'm going to be playing and, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, I think uh, I'm so thankful and grateful and blessed, you know, to be able to always be back here. And this is not this is not going to get tired for me to say because it's just a blessing to be back here and finish my career where everything started and having a great year like I'm having it. And, Obviously, shocking you guys up, but uh, and everybody else, but not myself, because I know the work that I put day in and day out, and the God gift in town that He has given me, and not just you guys and the fans. You know, I have 11 million people in the Dominican Republic, my country. Also, the I can feel that energy, you know, every day, because when I'm performing, I'm going out there to try to represent God and this organization, but also my country, and I want to make my country proud every single day that I step on that field. Well, speaking of historic milestones, over 46,000 fans packing Bush Stadium on Wednesday to witness history. The longtime duo of Yadier Molina and Adam Wainwright setting a new record for starts as a battery with their 325th start together. A very classic moment there from Christian Yelich, letting Adam Wainwright and Yadier Molina get that first pitch strike out of the way to make history. We even got a vintage Yadi and Waino moment with a strike him out, throw him out. Wainwright gave up just one run in five innings of work, and the Cardinals rolled to a 4-1 victory that night against the Brewers. Afterwards, the two talked about their brotherhood leading them to accomplish this milestone. I just think he's just been he's just been such a professional and such a great 
teammate and competitor, and he's made me better. That's really, I mean, he's just he's made me a better pitcher. And do it with him. Like I say, really great human being and really great teammate. Um, a friend and brother for me. I mean, it's just amazing feeling. It's just something that, that, that I never was expecting to do it. Um, but we did it, and I'm, I'm happy with it. A young player that's benefiting from watching and picking the brain of Albert Pujols this season is Lars Newbar. I spoke to the outfielder Friday about his relationship with Pujols and Arenado and the other veteran players. That day, Lars was sitting at seven outfield assists on the year, second most on the team. But today, with his eighth, he's now tied for the most amongst the Cardinals alongside Dylan Carlson. But also, he brings a lot of fun to this team with that pepper grinder, bring a lot of energy to this group. And no, that was actually an Andrew Kisner. He started it in uh, late July when we were in Toronto. Um, you know, July, August, it's kind of like the dog days that, you know, the season where, you know, it's kind of the middle of it, gets warm weather and stuff like that. And so he just kind of talked about, you know, grinding out at bats, having good at bats, team at bats, and kind of stuff like that. And it's kind of run off and taken its life of its own. And actually, today I came to my locker and had a. Uh, a pepper grinder from a fan sent to me in my locker so uh, it's pretty fun you know it's a cool deal that I think the guys kind of enjoy and it's kind of a fun little thing that we do. And just a little background on you just doing some research as any good journalist would I saw that you were a big time high school quarterback and I know that you just had your seventh outfield assist Thursday night is there any correlation between maybe the quarterback and be able to do that? Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. I think uh, kind of the speed of the play, kind of thinking ahead and in terms of like where you where you want to go with the ball and different stuff like that, you know, similar to quarterback. But uh, but yeah, you know, those you have are to the, be pretty accurate to be a quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two time all state, two time, you know, no big deal or anything. But no, uh, those were the days back in high school. But um, I think in terms of being the outfield, you know, you kind of are taught to think ahead. And those are kind of the similarities in, in being a quarterback. But other than that, I don't think it's too, too similar. Would you say that older guys, the veterans, really embracing you and taking you in has helped you get a lot more comfortable and be able to contribute as much as you have? Absolutely. I think uh, I think they have, you know, like you said, they've taken me in and, and they've kind of let me be myself and they've kind of accepted who I am. And so I think um, on the field that helps me be myself, off the field that helps me be myself and just kind of being comfortable in your own skin, I think that helps a ton. And so i uh, super grateful for those guys and, and the leaders on this team that um, just allow me to be myself. You also get to pick the brain of Albert Pujols, future Hall of Famer. What is that relationship like? And you actually also met him even before coming to the Cardinals organization. Yeah, um, the first time I met him with the Cardinals, I, I shook his hand and you know he uh, kind of outmanned me with his with his grip strength. And so that's kind of how I knew that you know 600 at that point I think it was like 682 home runs uh, didn't come by surprise. But um, and yeah, you know I. Always, you know, they say don't meet your heroes because you might be disappointed. But in terms of, you know, Goldie and Nolan and 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 uh, Albert, you know, those are guys that I've met and they've exceeded my expectations. And, and I knew Albert was a good guy. Like you said, you know, he talked to me in the rain before he even knew who I was when I was in college. And so, um, you know, those guys have, have been nothing but great for me. And I'm, you know, forever indebted to them. And I'm going to put you on the spot here. OK, everybody's waiting for number 700 for Albert Pujols. Does he get it done during the regular season? And if so, when you think it's happening? Okay, so we have the Reds this series at home, and we go Padres and Dodgers. I think he gets 698 this series. There's 698 this series, 699 on the road, and then he'll do it in fashion and bring it back home and do 700 from the home crowd. Um, yeah, I don't have a doubt in my mind. He's he's a machine for a reason, so I have full confidence that he's going to do it. And of course, he predicted that correctly. Well, coming up after the break, the blue season is right around the corner. This past week, the Blues locking in another one of their young core guys. We hear from Jordan Cairo next.